Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rad Rides. This is Hassan Shirazi. I have a special one for you today. I am sat behind the wheel of my brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor in coat orange. If you're new to this channel, on the last video, I took my 2022 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro in solar octane, which is a special orange color offered by Toyota. And I put a very wide 102 inch trailer, 20 footer on the back of it and we went all the way from California all the way to Nebraska and we got this 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor in coat orange. So we took an orange truck with a trailer to Nebraska and we put another orange truck on the back of it and we brought it all the way back to California. So please make sure to click on the link on the top right and watch the video on that 2500 mile journey that actually took almost 50 hours uh, for me to do and but I managed to successfully bring this Ford F-150 Raptor from the cold state of Nebraska to the warm and sunny state of California and as always make sure to like share and subscribe that's one of the ways that gets our channel growing I hope you truly enjoy this episode guys thank you All right guys, now let's talk a little bit more about my newly bought 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor. This is a third generation Ford F-150 Raptor, but before we talk about it, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of Ford and making high performance trucks. In 1993, Ford introduced the SVT Lightning Ford F-150, which had a 5.8 liter V8, and it was only making about 240 horsepower, and it was a performance truck meant for the streets. Then in 1999, Ford introduced the second generation of SVT Lightning, and that was actually featured in the movie Fast and Furious. Paul Walker was driving a red one, and that one was a 5.4 liter V8, and it was making about 360 horsepower. Later generations was making about 380 horsepower. Fast forward to 2010, Ford introduced the Ford F-150 Raptor. Now that body style, which was the first generation of Ford F-150 Raptor, had two engine choices. It had a 5.4 liter V8, good for 320 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. And then it also later on offered a 6.2 liter V8 and it was making about 413 horsepower and 439 pound-feet of torque. Both these uh, Raptors had naturally aspirated V8s. What made the Ford F-150 Raptor special is that the sec first generation of Ford F-150 Raptor was not only good for street performance but also it was very capable in off-roading it had fox racing shocks and independent rear suspension also locking differentials 35 inch tires from the factory also very wide and flared fenders as you see in this body style now the first generation of ford f-150 raptor was made from 2010 all the way to 2014 but ford didn't have any raptor brand in 2015 2016 and then in 2017 they introduced the second generation of ford f-150 raptor the main difference that a lot of ford enthusiasts actually don't like about the second and third generation versus the first generation is that Ford went from a naturally aspirated V8 into a three and a half liter V6 twin turbo. So a lot of people say, although the horsepower figures were higher, the second generation of Ford F-150 Raptor was making 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque, but you don't get the sound of the V8, you know, the burble, you know, the exhaust note. So a lot of people were disappointed in Ford. Now, the second generation of F-150 Raptor had another significant improvement. It had Fox internal live shocks. So that also made you, when you want to go to different trains, like normal, spot, Baja, off-road. So you could change with a little knob the train that you wanted to go to and your truck would automatically adjust to it. So that was a very significant improvement from the first generation of F-150 Raptor to the second generation. Now the third generation of Ford F-150 Raptor was introduced in 2021 and to a disappointment of a lot of Ford enthusiasts, unfortunately, it had the same engine carried over from the second to third generation. So same horsepower figure of 450 and torque of 510 pound-feet of torque. Main difference between uh, the third generation and second generation was the rear suspension. Instead of using the leaf springs that was used in the second generation Ford F-150 Raptor now uses coil spring with a five-link setup. 
I know there were some disappointments in Ford enthusiasts that didn't like the fact that Ford was using a V6 twin turbo on the second and third generation, but Ford announced that they're going to be having a Ford F-150 Raptor R, which is going to have the same engine as Ford uh, Shelby Mustang GT500 that has a 700 horsepower, so it's slightly less horsepower than the GT500 of 760, but it's going to have 700 horsepower and it's going to have 640 pound-feet of torque. And I'm actually waiting to get one of those as well. So once I get it, we'll be featuring it in my channel and we're going to do a full review on that Ford F-150 Raptor R. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit more about the engine of this Ford F-150 Raptor. As I previously mentioned, this engine makes about 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque and all of this power is put to the ground via a 10-speed automatic transmission. Ford states that the 060 of the Ford F-150 Raptor with a 37-inch uh, wheels is 5.6 seconds so since this car has 35-inch wheels I'm assuming it's about 5.4 seconds. The truck weighs about 5,760 pounds it has a payload capacity of 1,300 pounds and it can also tow up to 8,000 pounds. And Ford states that the fuel economy of this car is 14 in the city, 18 in the highway, but realistically the figures that I've gotten so far is about 13 and a half combined. All right guys, let's talk about the wheels and brakes on this Ford F-150 Raptor. As you see, I have the 35 inch wheel package. There's also a different type of wheel that you can get. These are 17 inch cast aluminum. The other one is 17 inch beat lock capable wheels. And on the th uh, 37 inch uh, wheel package, you get also another type of 17 inch beat lock capable wheels. Now the tires that wrap on these 17 inch cast aluminum wheels are 315 by 70 by 17 inch and both in the front and in the rear. Now the brake system on this car is 13.7 uh, inch rotors. They're actually double sliding rotors in the front and 13.2 uh, inch rotors in the rear and they're held by four piston caliper brakes in the front and two piston caliper brakes in the rear. Okay, right, let's talk a little bit more about the exterior design of this Ford F-150 Raptor. The first thing that comes straight at you is this big menacing grille with the word Ford and you have the three um, DOT mandated amber lights because the Raptor is over 80 inches in width. It's actually 86.6 inches in width. Then come to the headlights. We got this really, really nice and um, uh, kind of mean looking if it's not uh, if the headlights are not on amber light that surrounds the headlights uh, you got the dual LED headlights on top of each other you got the word Raptor also stamped into the headlight then you come down here you got these two rigid industry fog lights one of them is normal the other one is actually for off-road the secondary fog lights were actually covered and uh, Ford has the covers on them at the dealership then you can take them off yourself and which I did I wanted more light to illuminate the road and you got this very very massive and big beefy uh, two-tone in paint um, front bumper you got a lot of um, areas that can suck in air to cool down this engine whether if it's the grill or right down here this is the twin turbo so the turbos definitely need some um, air to cool them down. I really love these hooks that you see and underneath the car is a very very massive and beefy uh, skid plate. Obviously you can see how big these control arms on this car is. This car is meant for um, any basically type of uh, off-road environment, Baja especially. And you got this really nice functional heat extractor with the word Raptor stamp on both sides of it that takes some of that heat generated in the engine out. Love this flare. I already told you I'm in love with the flare. Going to the side, love how you have an orange against kind of grayish color. Um, you got a little bit more vents that can take some of that uh, engine heat out. And I also really like that this car doesn't have any chrome. It's black against orange. Love, always love the design of the front doors by Ford. So you have a little bit of uh, area that you can kind of lay your hand down. And it's kind of nice and neat. You have a little more access way if you want to open the windows. And right here on the driver's door, you have the buttons that you can actually um, open and close the car. I really like this heavy duty rock sliders. And if you're serious off-road, you can actually take these off. 
with the word Raptor on there. One of the many Raptor words that you see throughout this car. Going to the back, you got this full size rear door. You got this really, really nice and wide uh, flares again on this car. Same theme, orange against uh, gray. Coming to the back, you got another heavy duty rear bumper. This thing is steel. You got the dual um, tailpipes. And these things are at least three to four inches in width. They make a nice menacing sound. Take a listen. Obviously the rear plaque of the Ford F-150 Raptor, the Ford Ford F-150 and Raptor. Now for the tailgate, you can either open it from the inside, there's a button, or on this car, I got the power tailgate and dual paint roof. It was, I think it was a $2,200 option and I can open it, watch. Just click on it twice as it says and it opens for you. And you can also close it. You just click on it twice. So that is a very, very nice option. Then if you want to get it in the back of the bed, you just press this button right here. This is called the tailgate step. You pull it out. Then you have this yellow knob. You also pull this out. Then you extend it up. It gives you a little level. Then this is how you go up. I'm about 210, 215 pounds. So it's nice and easy. No problem at all. Then I come back down obviously. Ford also did a nifty feature. You can actually put clamps here and you can hold like a piece of wood or um, metal or something down. You've got two areas that you can put the clamps and you can hold them down. Also, you have a nice big ruler here for in inches and centimeter. It even says centimeter and inches. So that's another uh, nifty feature. Now you have an option to get a uh, tough and bed liner. It's $595. I didn't get it because I mainly will be using this uh, Ford F-150 Raptor in this city, not as a work truck. Another nice thing, it has a, actually a household outlet in here. So, and you got your obviously some clamps so you can tie down stuff. All right guys, let's talk a little bit more about the interior of this Ford F-150 Raptor. I'm very impressed by the fit and finish of the material that Ford has used. Uh, I really like how the seats are kind of a sporty, even that they're not the blue Recaro seats that you can get their additional like $2,400 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but they got a really nice feel to them. Uh, you got the leather and kind of like the Alcantara feel. Uh, they're both uh, drivers and passenger. They're powered seats. The dashboard of the car is nice. I didn't get the carbon fiber uh, package. I could have gotten it. It would have had a little bit more carbon fiber pieces. I like the way it is. Uh, I like this brush aluminum and the feel of it. I really like this uh, material that is stitched on top of the dashboard. It looks to be uh, some kind of a rubber, but it's uh, soft. It's really nice. You got the Bang & Olufsen uh, uh, Bane speaker right here. Um, and uh, obviously you got a lot of Bang & Olufsen uh, speakers in the roof. Even on the headrest, you have uh, speakers, both for driver and passenger. Really like this big infotainment screen that you see. It's actually split. You can have uh, different things in here. You can have like, for instance, on the side, you can have a camera showing the bed area. And on the left side, you can have your navigation. You got different features of the card you can do. Um, settings you know apps different apps it's very nice and intuitive to use navigation is really nice to use phone different things if you want to see more features you can go up and down like zone lighting off-roading you know fuel economy uh everything is uh split so you can have it uh both ways so that's really nice on ford uh to do that uh you got your different cameras here it's really nice you can even zoom in you can go, if you want to zoom in here, you can zoom in and you can zoom out. That's a really nice feature of this camera system. Um, you got different cameras, obviously. You got the back view, front view. Um, you can have that. Then 
you got the bed area so it's really nice uh, intuitive the quality of the camera is pretty good too I really like the different modes that you have you have um, seven different modes you have your slippery mode you have your toe and haul you have your sport you have your normal mode um, you have your off-road you also have Baja and your rock crawl so there's seven different modes and depending on the mode the car can put you like let's say keep you on two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive so that's very nice on the car then you got a, a button right here that is the Raptor button that you can um, uh, individualize your setting like mine is on my Raptor button is on sport everything is on sport even my exhaust is on Baja which is the loudest exhaust that you can do uh, and I love the sound of that trombone exhaust so that's a very nice uh, feature um, then um, you have your cruise control button up and down this car also has a very nice um, and uh, advanced intelligent cruise control so basically once you set it on cruise control it does the steering for you and every about 20 seconds you just need to touch the steering wheel but you need to touch it fully also you have buttons on the steering wheel that you can change the setting on there you press the that button and then it goes from normal comfort sport or Baja Baja you have to be on Baja mode and you have the button for the dampers got normal sport or Baja you have to be on Baja obviously and then obviously the exhaust difference between the sound of exhaust and got quiet normal sport and then Baja now coming down here you got the heated steering wheel you got the heated seats um, cold seats both for the passenger and driver and the heated steering wheel especially if you're in cold climate it's very nice um, volume button I like how you can actually touch these you don't have uh, one of these you know plus and minus uh, things icons on your navigation you actually have things that you can touch um, really nice uh, the quality of the material they use is really nice uh, dual climate control obviously you got uh, wireless charging for your cell phone you got a um, USB type C and type A another nice thing about this you can actually cover this up so if you don't want anybody to see where your cell phone is you can just cover it up and your cell phone is gonna get charged putting this back uh, you got two cup holders here you can also put something here but I really like this future uh, that this uh, Ford F-150 Raptor has an option on the 801A package that I got you have an option that you can click this button and your gear shifter goes down here now you come here and you pull this right here and you pull this the whole idea is you can put your laptop you can work here or sometimes my wife and i we buy food and then we actually put them here and you know it's it's really nice so you don't get on yourself you don't have to worry about anything um, it gives you a lot of uh, you know flat surface for putting your food or work material on um, so that's really nice then you can also open this and you got plenty of storage here uh, you can actually take this off you also have a, a USB type A and type C down here uh, so that's a very very nice feature and also you can actually lock this as well right here and nobody can actually get in your uh, storage area so that's really nice this car has two glove box you have one right here that you can press and that's that and then you also have the uh regular glove box you can also manually change the car from two wheel drive to four wheel high or four low or just put it on four wheel drive automatic which uh will select it for you or if you're doing the uh different modes the car will intelligently pick one that makes the most sense then uh this is your tow plus and tow minus gain that you can do um obviously the car is going to say there's no trailer coming to here you have your uh, light on the side that you can uh, uh the zone lights turn on um, this is the power tailgate on the back i like this button that right here that you see it brings the pedals to you or moves them away from you so that's really good if you're shorter or taller um, then obviously we have the light on automatic now one thing about this car you have six auxiliary uh, buttons so uh, the first one is the fog light that I showed you uh, the secondary fog light that you're supposed to turn on 
when you're off-roading, so that's pretty cool. You have three options for uh, memory seats for the driver's side. If you want, you can also fold the mirrors, okay? Press them down here. I really like this uh, American flag that you see on the side that is really a nice feature. So the dual pane moonroof has a cover. So if you wanna open the cover and get some sun in without actually opening the moonroof, you have the option to do that. You press once, it goes halfway. If you press twice, it goes all the way in the back. Then you can also open the moonroof. And when you open it, you got this little uh, thing coming up here, this little opening that I believe it stops the wind noise, uh, also debris, so that's a really nice feature. And you can even open it a little bit more, and then you press it and it closes it, and this also goes back in, it retracts, so that's really nice. Also, with the press of this button, you can open the rear window, get some uh, ventilation in, and you can also close it as well. All right guys, I'm gonna get in back of this uh, F-150 Raptor and show you how much room it's got. Actually, lots of room, um, very comfortable seats, and also I like the features that it has heated seats also for rear passengers uh, it's got a little 12 volt charger here also you have your home style 110 volt charger and uh, also USB type C and USB type A chargers as well and you got your climate vents here so it's a very nice comfortable obviously you have the option to have the uh, moonroof open or the sunshade come up there so block the sun but it's very nice with the sunshade of the moonroof the dual pane moonroof open uh, it's very well lit and you don't feel you don't feel claustrophobic at all so it's very nice experience you got a lot of cup holders too one here a uh, couple here uh, lots of storage you got a little door card here and obviously uh, we also have your Bang & Olufsen uh, stereo system speakers on the doors as well. Um, and you have your own little light here. You can turn on and off. Um, so it's very nice and comfortable. All right, now we're driving this Ford F-150 Raptor. It is such an awesome truck to drive. It is very sport oriented. I love how the steering feel feels. You got this uh, leather wrap steering wheel. It's nice and meaty. You got the paddle shifters. If you want to engage them, put them on manual mode. Uh, this truck is definitely live. I really love how the seating position is. Uh, seats are nice and comfortable. Now, I didn't get the blue Recaro seats, but these seats are definitely nice and comfortable. And uh, I, I definitely enjoy it. Now, another thing I really like about this car is the different driving modes. So like right now we're driving on normal. I'm gonna switch it to sport so you can definitely hear the sound of the exhaust change and the steering uh, wheel, uh, it's a little bit more sportier, the damping, the suspension. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. Whoa, she goes. She definitely uh, uh, has a lot of uh, punch to it. Now, remind you, this is a, a V6 making 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. If this thing has this much pull, I can't wait for my Raptor R, definitely. And I love the sound of this exhaust, that trombone exhaust, the tubular exhaust that Ford has changed from the second generation versus the third generation. Uh, it's just, it's music to your ears. I love the sound of it. You wouldn't think that this is just a regular pickup truck. Uh, some people have made comparison between this truck's uh, uh, exhaust mode when it's on the Sport or Baja mode to a Nissan Skyline GTR, the R35. thank you so much for watching this episode of rad rides covering this 2022 ford f-150 raptor we'll definitely do more videos on this raptor maybe comparing it with my tundra trd pro 
uh, maybe with the second generation Ford F-150 Raptor. Uh, and we're definitely excited to get that Ford F-150 Raptor R. That's gonna be a, probably at least five or six months in the future, but we'll definitely uh, be featuring that Raptor R in our channel as well. And as usual, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That's one of the ways that gets our channel growing. And please make sure to check out the last video that we did that I drove the Tundra TRD Pro from California with a trailer to Nebraska to pick up this Ford F-150 Raptor. That is a pretty special episode. And we'll definitely see you next time, guys.